This video will attempt to answer an age-old question. What is light? Early theories about light began with the notion that the eyes produce light in the form of a ray. Greeks in the 5th century BC thought that Aphrodite lit a fire in the eye, making sight possible, while at the same time, Buddhists suggested that light originated from luminous objects and was composed of energy particles. Very little progress was made until the 17th century when philosopher René Descartes suggested that light is a wave-like disturbance that travels through a medium that permeates space. As the next two centuries unfolded, scientific experiments were developed that supported the theory that light is a wave. By the end of the 19th century, there was little debate until Albert Einstein's work with the photoelectric effect showed light behaving like a particle. Let's now take a peek into a 21st century physics classroom and see what the modern day answer is to this age old conundrum. Was actually able to knock electrons off of a metal. The photoelectric effect helped to support the particle theory. So what's the answer? Is light a wave or is it a particle? I'll explain it this way. Imagine that there was a box and inside the box, somebody opened a little door and saw this. A bunny. a bunny rabbit. So one group might be able to look in this door and say, oh, I see a rabbit. However, in the other door, someone might look in and say, I don't see a rabbit at all. I see something else. A large snake. A large snake. So in the same way that some people think that light is a particle and some people think that light is a wave, it's the same thing as looking inside a box and doing an experiment. One person sees a rabbit, the other person sees a snake. But what's really inside the box? A snabbit. It's a cross between both. So is light a wave or is it a particle? It's actually both. To resolve this apparent contradiction, Niels Bohr suggested that each individual experiment allows us to see only one aspect of light at a time. To better grasp what light is, we must be aware of both wave and particle properties simultaneously to have a full understanding of light. The idea of the snabbit serves as a metaphor to show us parts of a creature that we can imagine but never truly see. The problem arises when we try to use ideas about our everyday world to build a picture of something we cannot visualize. The best we can do is understand that our knowledge is based on limited experiments. The abstract picture of light is our in our minds must balance both wave and particle properties. Let's now turn to physicist, philosopher, and rap star, 20 Newton, to see if his insight will help shed some light on these ideas. Hello, we're here today with the famous rapper, 20 Newton. Hey, Mr. 20 Newton, can we ask you a few questions about physics? Yeah, I suppose I got some time for you. Well, I was studying my physics book last night, and I came across this experiment, Young's experiment on double slit diffraction. I didn't understand it. Young was a dude around in the late 1800s that took light and shined it through a double slit. And when the light landed on the screen on the other side, it shone a pattern of light and dark. The only way you get that is with the interference, and that's if light is behaving like a wave. So is that the only experiment that was done to show that light can act like a wave? You gotta be kidding, girl. What about polarization? When light waves that are vibrating in every single plane go through a polarized filter, and then they only come out in a single plane. If light was a particle, it wouldn't do that. It would just go straight through no matter what angle you sent it through. my main man Albert Einstein about that one because he got the Nobel Prize in 1921 for an article that he wrote about light hitting a metal plate and knocking electrons off. Now you don't see light behaving like a wave and doing that. That's light behaving like a particle. Wait a minute. I'm confused now. How can light both be a particle and a wave? Yeah, it does get kind of confusing, but you gotta check out the song I wrote. It's a little rhyme that explains how light behaves both like a wave and a particle. Come on, check it. Back in the 
day many thoughts they gave to is light a particle or is it a wave you got many reasons why waves get the action like polarization and double slit diffraction my story's far from over i'm not trying to be mean but may i introduce who appeared on the scene it was albert einstein who wrote an article he said look at light behaving like a particle this riddle is crazy what can light be take a look in the box and tell me what you see some people look and see a snake or a rabbit if you ask me i see a snabbit